Hello, today we will be solving this problem called missing coin sum. So we have n coins with positive integer values and we are asked to find the smallest sum we cannot create using a subset of the coins. So here n is up to 2 times 10 to the 5th and the values are up to a billion. In this example, we could make a sum that is equal to 1 by choosing this element, a sum that is equal to 2 by choosing this element. If we choose these two, we can make a sum that is equal to 3. And if we choose the two twos, we would get a sum that is equal to 4. And if we choose 1, 2, and 2, then we will get a 5. But we cannot get a 6. There is no way to get a 6. So 6 is the smallest sum that we cannot create. That being said, let's try to find a way to solve this problem in a general setting. So this is our example. As we saw before, we're going to start by sorting this array. Let's choose another color. So if we sort this array, we're going to get the following. We're going to get uh, two. Sorry, this color is not visible. Let's choose this orange. So we're going to get one, two, two, seven, nine good so now we're trying to find the smallest sum that we cannot create so what are the possible values for this so we will start with all possible values so the first one is one and this color is not visible now as well let me choose something like this so can we make one Indeed, we can make one as we saw because we have a one here. And then, if we were able to make a one, our next question would be, can we make a two? And the answer here would be yes, because we have a two here. And then our next question would be, can we make a three? But if we think about it, this question is irrelevant because we saw that we can make a 1 and we can make a 2 as well. So in this case, if we use these first two elements, we're sure of making values as, la as large as this sum. So we are guaranteed to make values up to 3. So our question in this case should be, can we make a 4? And if we check in this case, we will find that if we use these two and these two, then we will be able to make a 4. And if we include this whole prefix, then the total sum would be 5. Then we would know because from this prefix, we just proved that we can make anything between 1 and 3. So if we add these two, then we can make anything between 1 and 5. Because if we add 2 to any element in this interval, it would bridge the gap between this and what remains. So if we add this 1 to 2, it would give us 2, so there is no gap. Then if we add 2 to 2, then it would give us 4, so 4 is guaranteed. Then if we add 3 to 2, we would get 5. So indeed, we can make any element, in any, any value in this range. But here, so our next question would be, now can we make a 6? And the answer is that we can't. But why? So, as we saw, 
if we are at some position at pause equals i and we have some prefix some prefix that allows us to that some prefix that gives sums between 1 and k let's say if there is any gap here then we would have to stop earlier now we will say that up to position i we didn't find uh, a gap yet and we are able to make all numbers between 1 and k so what does this mean it means that we are at this position i here and then whatever is here would give us all possible sums between 1 and k so the question we have to ask ourselves now is can we make k plus 1 and in order for us so and this is the value a of i which is the coin at position i so let's let's think about the cases this can have and this can have two cases either so either a of i is strictly greater than k plus 1 or a of i is less than or equal to k plus 1 okay these are the only two possibilities for a of i either it is larger than k plus 1 or it is less or equal to k plus 1 so in this first case if it's larger than k plus 1 then in this interval we we saw that the the, the the largest sum we can create is k so there is no way we could create this k plus 1 from this interval so maybe we could create it by taking this ai and adding something to it from this interval but since ai is strictly larger than k plus 1 then here uh, we, we we will add we will actually be adding a positive value to it so we will make it larger than k plus 1 so if this is the case then it is not possible to uh, create k plus 1 and k plus 1 would be our answer because we were unable to solve it so i think this first case is clear so if a of i is strictly greater than the value which we are checking for so that means that there is no way we could make it okay now what if a of i is less than or equal to k plus 1 so let's play with this equation a little bit what we can do here is to uh, bring a, a of i to the other side so this becomes k plus 1 minus a of i so this is greater than or equal to 0 and it is strictly less than k plus 1 all right because here we are taking a positive value from this so it would make sense for this to be less than that and uh, it is indeed greater than zero and if we if, to make it easier let's actually have three cases so this would be less than strictly less than so that we would have this strictly greater than and our third case would be a of i would be equal to k plus 1 okay now uh, if if k plus 1 minus a of i is between these two values that means that we can make it by by our supposition by our hypothesis we said that we can make any number between 1 and k and k plus 1 minus a of i the smallest value of a of i would be something like 1 so this would belong to our range here that we can make 
therefore that means that uh, we could actually achieve this k plus 1 because we have a of i which is the position which is this value at at this position we would take a of i here and we would get k plus 1 minus a of i from this interval and we if we add the two that this would give us k plus 1 which proves that we can make it and we are guaranteed to make this because it would be inside this interval so this takes care of this case so indeed if a of i is less than k plus 1 then we can actually make k plus 1 and our next uh, value to check for would be something like k plus 1 plus a of i because plus 1 actually because as we said we would be able to make any number in this range and then the next number we'd have to check for would be this plus 1 and this third case is just trivial so if a of i is equal to k plus 1 then that means that we can actually make it by just taking a of i and then again so uh, if we can uh, from this interval we can make any number between 1 and k and then now we can make any number between 1 and k plus k plus 1 so this means that we can make any number between 1 and k plus 1 in this case so we would, in this case so we would have to check for k um, plus 2 so that's pretty much it so to sum up we start with our array uh, let's take another example here let's have some other array like one two three uh, okay so five eight ten as we said our first uh, our first query would be can we make one and if we check here we, we we indeed can make one because this position is less than or equal our value as we said if AI is less than or equal to our question then we can make it and our next guess would be just the previous question plus AI So indeed we can make this and our next value would be this plus this so it would be 2. Now we are at this position and we are asking ourselves can we make 2. Since 2 is less than or equal to 2 that means that we can indeed make it and our next guess would be 4. Now we are at position 3 and again 3 is less than or equal to 4 so this we means that we can make it and our next guess would be 7 and again here now we are at position 5 and we are asking ourselves is 7 less than or equal to 5 and the answer is yes this means that 7 minus 5 would be less than uh, would be between 6 strictly less than or equal to 6 and greater than 1 so this means that this number belongs uh, to this range so we just proved that we can make all numbers between 1 and 6 so since 7 minus 5 is greater than 0 and less than 7 or actually less than or equal to 6 
this means that it belongs to this interval and we can just take 5 and 2 and that way would make 7 so that checks and our next guess would be 7 plus 5 which is 12 and now we are asking ourselves can we make 12 and we are at position 8 and the answer is indeed yes because 8 is less than or equal to 12 so again uh, 12 minus 8 would be 4 and we just proved that we can make any number between 1 and 11 so indeed we can make uh, 12 and this would uh, take us to our next question which would be 20 and let's say that this last value is 21 instead of 10 so our last value is 21 now we are asking ourselves can we make 20 is is 21 less than or equal to 20 and the answer is no so we cannot uh, make 20 so 20 is the smallest value we cannot make but why is that the case if you see here if we take all these numbers and add them up here we would get 2 plus 8 which is 10 plus 8 which is 12, which is 18 plus 1 which gives us 19 so 19 is the largest number we can make and 20 is the failure point because um, it falls into this first category if ai is larger than the value we cannot make it using that value and we cannot make it using the previous values and we cannot make it mixing the two so actually they are that's when we know that we cannot make we cannot find the solution and our answer is in the 20 so that's pretty much it uh, let's check out the code So we will start by reading the input, which is just the number of coins we have. Then we will declare our vector and loop through all the values and scan the value of each coin. Then as we saw, we're gonna sort our vector and then we will declare the smallest sum that we're gonna keep checking for and the smallest possible sum is 1 to start with then uh, we gonna keep looping through the coins we have and at each position we check that uh, our guess or the value we're checking for is larger or equal to the coins value that means it falls under one of these two categories either it's equal here or it's larger than uh, it's less than because if it were larger than then it wouldn't as we saw if it was this case it wouldn't work and we would have to break so that's pretty much it we just check that the smallest is greater than or equal to coins otherwise we break and at each step we update our future uh, guess by the value of coins and at the end we just print that value so that's pretty much it uh, let's just submit So that actually worked. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.